Hi, I'm Samantha with Teach Kind, and this is my daughter, Elliot. Hi, today we're gonna be learning about the anatomy of a frog. We're gonna dissect the sin frog, which is a hyper-realistic synthetic frog model. We are gonna be looking at the internal organs and directional terms. Okay, so let's get started with our sin frog dissection. <clears throat> First, we wanna talk about the scientific name of this frog. This is a leopard frog, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, his scientific name is Lithobates pipiens. Now let's check out some directional terms and external anatomy. So let's locate the dorsal and ventral sides of the frog. Dorsal is right here on the back side. Excellent. And then ventral is on the belly. And the anterior and posterior ends? Anterior is toward the head or cranium, and then posterior is toward the tail. Very nice. And medial and lateral. Medial is toward the midline of the body. If you were to cut your body into equal halves, and then um, lateral is toward the toes. That's right, away from the midline. Very nice. So does our frog differ in color, the dorsal side and the ventral side? Yes, it does. Very nice. And what's the difference here? Um, the dorsal side is darker than the ventral. It's lighter. Great. Now let's measure our sin frog in centimeters, please. Just the length from the head to what would be a tail, um, excluding the limbs. Okay. It's about 12 centimeters. Is it? Awesome. About 12 centimeters. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the toes. So the, we have front legs and back legs. Um, so let's count how many appendages we have or how many toes we have on each foot. Um, five and then four on the front legs. So five on the, on the back and mm -hmm. four on the front, perfect. And we're gonna take a look at the sin frog's skin. So is it slimy or scaly? Slimy. Mostly these frogs do have slimy skin because they are able to um, use a process called cutaneous respiration, which is a way for them to exchange gases through their skin. So let's find the tympanic membrane. Tympanic is right there. On either side of the head. And what structure in humans works like uh, the frog's tympanic membrane? Um, our ears. Excellent. So now let's take a peek at the mouth and the head. We're gonna find the external nares and internal nares. Okay, external and then internal. And then the tongue. The tongue is right here. And we'll notice that it's attached at the front of the mouth. Mm -hmm. And then the glottis. Back there. Very nice. Oh, and the, I'm sorry, and the eustachian tubes. One more identification. Right in there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, we are going to flip our sin frog onto it's with ventral side up, and we're going to start the dissection. So the first thing we'll wanna do is pin the frog's appendages. So put one pin in each of the two front feet and the two back feet. And then we're going to start dissecting. So what you'd like to do is cut, uh, do a cut down the midline and then across the top of the cavity and across the bottom of the body cavity. So Elliot is making her incisions to open up that body cavity. So she's actually cutting through the skin and the muscle tissue, which is what you'd wanna do if you were dissecting. Oh, that is a very nice, very, very nice. So you can see the skin is the most superficial layer and then the next layer is the musculature, so the muscles. And she's cut through that. And eventually when you get, 
ready to open those flaps, you can go ahead and pin, um, but it does take a little, a little bit to cut those. Once we get into the body cavity, as we're continuing our dissection, we're just going to start identifying the organs that we can very easily see. How's it going? <laughs> Good. You're doing great. I can't pick up this other thing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so let's see if we can identify these organs. The liver. Right there. These. The liver is a very, very large structure. It has three lobes. <clears throat> and you can see the gallbladder right there as well. Can you put that a little bit over down this way so we can? Yeah, that's great, thank you. So that's the gallbladder and the liver we've already identified. How about, let's see if we can find the heart. Okay. You can see the heart right there. Perfect, so the heart is located um, at the top of the liver. We've mm -hmm. already excised the liver. <clears throat> and then we have, let's see if we can find the lung. So we'll have to look underneath and behind the heart and the liver to find the lungs. And they're kind of spongy, just like human lungs. And there are two lobes, which are also like ours. They're back there somewhere. There they are. Perfect. So at the top of the lungs, what is that white part that you see? Um, I'm not sure. Is that the trachea? Oh, yeah. Let's go with that. Um, did we already find the gall gallbladder on at the yes. liver? Yes. Perfect. Okay, now let's find the stomach. Is that the stomach? Yes, that's the stomach. Stomach, perfect. So the stomach is pretty large. Um, it's really the first major organ of uh, chemical digestion. So, you know, frogs don't chew their food like we do. So when we, when humans chew our food, we have an initial chemical breakdown in our mouths uh, with, you know, enzymes, mm -hmm. but frogs don't do that. They just swallow their food. So then the food starts being digested in their stomach. So then let's find the small intestines, which I think you already got out. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So that's the small intestines. It's connected to the stomach. And we have, let's see, then the large intestine, which is at the end. Yeah. Perfect. Of oh, the small intestines. Very nice. And the esophagus is also on there. That it's the esophagus actually leads to the stomach. And now let's take a peek at the urogenital system. So we're gonna locate the kidneys and the oviducts. Here are the oviducts. Great, there's the oviducts. And, and let's see if we can find the, the kidneys as well, which, yes. The kidneys right there with the heart. There's the kidneys. And then we have the bladder which is always last but not least, down at the very, very bottom of the body cavity, which is closest to the cloaca. There you go. Perfect. Now the cloaca is of course where the frogs um, excrete urine and sperm and eggs. But we did notice that we don't have any testes in this model because mm -hmm. this is a female model. Yeah, so yeah, we were able to see the oviducts and the eggs, but no testes there. Okay, perfect. That was our lesson for today. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you learned a lot about frog anatomy.